"'Twas the night before Christmas, and down at the vets, not a creature was stirring, there were no sick pets. The pets were all home, they hadn't a care, thanks to their vets, Dr. Sammy and Claire. Dogs were all nestled at home in their beds, while visions of treats danced away in their heads. Dr. Sam sat with Whitney, and I sat with Max. This isn't a poem, just more like the facts. Down in the front room, there arose such a noise. The other six dogs had discovered their toys. Peek had a ball and Climber a Kong. Blanche had a squeaky. That wouldn't last long. Nutty Buddy was barking. Jesse barked along. Then Peyton joined in. What a loud doggy song. The barking grew louder. They couldn't be stopped. Each one giving voice, trying not to be topped. When sharing your house with eight or so dogs, if one starts up barking, there'll be sawing no logs. Stop Whitney, stop Max, stop Climber and Peak. You're barking so loud, we can't hardly speak. On Peyton, on Jesse, on Buddy and Blanche, this place is a zoo, a real doggy ranch. The cats were all nestled, snug in a bed, even poor Ralston, missing part of his head. Fighting for life was this kitten's choice. The staff at her office answered his voice. Though missing a foot and part of a leg, give me a chance, this kitten did beg. Christmas came early for this tough little kitten. Now enjoying his life, in bed he is sitting. The cats are so quiet. Nice peaceful pets, on who is the loudest, the dogs win all bets. Abby is hiding, safely somewhere up high, with Buddy around, you needn't ask why. Black kitten named Beaner, in the furnace got stuck, maybe they're right, black cats have bad luck. Dr. Sammy was frantic, Dr. Claire thought it groovy, quick, grab my camera, Let's make this a movie. Dr. Sammy is quiet and I am quite loud. We work saving pets, of which we are proud. We're together so long, met way back at Penn. Things were much simpler, do you recall when? Despite ups and downs, occasional tears, we've managed to stay together for years. We never forget the reason we're here, helping your pets year after year. We owe you a lot. You keep us quite busy, running in circles until we get dizzy. Our office is home to a great many pets. It only makes sense for a couple of vets. We wouldn't have made it based strictly on love. Largely it's due to God above. He sent us a gift. His son is the reason. Thank God for Jesus this holiday season. Merry Christmas. Bye now.